this is a short review of my custom Super Soko or Vimoto TS Street Hunter Pro. Now I got this bike and immediately uh, changed the battery, the controller, and uh, yeah, uh, wiring looms and such, so that it now runs 72 volts. It's a 20S 37P battery, has a JK 200 amp uh, nominal, but it can take double that in uh, for shorter times, like uh, two minutes or so, three minutes. And the controller <clears throat> right here, this is a far driver ND 72. 680 so it can deliver 680 phase amps now what I've done here well aside from painting <laughs> the custom paint scheme and all <clears throat> uh, yeah this is like uh, an additional daytime running light which is super bright just for safety like standard uh, universal windscreen I also designed and 3D printed this little stuff, this little thing. This is um, a run, uh, passing light button, which the Sokos don't have. So, if I press this, yeah. So, that's very useful. Now here, this has an universal motorcycle android auto carplay lcd 6.3 inches which is super nice i designed and 3d printed a custom bracket to fit perfectly snug to the soko yeah this is something that's done by me this is a uh, four inch ips lcd and right here I have uh, all sorts of data like power, current, motor temperature, which is very useful, voltage, uh, instant consumption, like watt hours per kilometers, average consumption, distance, like trip distance, remaining range, ride time, average speed. Now we have other stuff as well, top speed, maximum power, yeah, all sorts of metrics. Um, now this data is coming from the BMS okay and yeah two additional buttons one is for opening my gate one is for uh, cruise control uh, these buttons are this is for turning on the headline headlight and uh, this will be boost button but right now I don't have any <clears throat> available functions for the far driver uh, so uh, how does this work I have an ESP32 that does the communication between uh, this controller the stock display and uh, runs this display as well so that's why I can have like all the info I need yeah and this one is now used for uh, reversing because the, its original function, yeah, I just don't get it. Uh, right now, this is the current charging port, which is an XT60. But I will uh, integrate uh, a waterproof charger, so this will be a C14 plug here, so I can charge, plug it in directly at uh, the mains. Yeah, right now. So here I have some uh, cameras in the front, uh, front and back, that uh, record all the time. Uh, yeah, this is also like standard uh, uh, top case, but right now I added lightning to it. Uh, So it has 
brake light, running light and turn signals, everything's there. Uh, yeah, if you can hear it, this is like a loud relay for the turn signals as uh, I need to hear the audible feedback. Um, yeah, the mount for um, for this, yeah, I, I quickly welded this one up because uh, it wasn't available at the time. But does the job super good. Yeah, and it's useful. This is uh, running uh, most of the times. It's running uh, 200 amps, which is like 14, 15, 16 kilowatts depending on the voltage but it does have the potential to run up to 350 amps which is like 26 kilowatts I'm not running that high but it runs great on 200 amps doesn't overheat everything is good uh, yeah so this is pretty much it tires are stock uh, pretty much the bike outside of the mods I've described here is stock I still have uh, most of the storage underneath so this is perfect for me uh, yeah I'll attach some riding footage some short riding footage as well so uh, yeah for whoever's thinking of modifying one of those it's it's not bad I actually enjoy it the motor is good but uh, yeah it is a bit reinforced so uh, <laughs> just coming stock it might uh, uh, struggle in time dealing with this amount of power but uh, yeah, yeah other than that it's pretty much solid back on the TS it's getting colder and colder so thought I'd add uh, some more, more details before uh, I'm not comfortable recording anymore so this uh, has an RTC module with some memory with some storage that I can actually store my stats and I do reset them every four hours pretty much like they do on cars so right now I can keep like automatically keeps the trip distance and uh, consumption and whatever else there so uh, yeah this is pretty nice